Alright guys, before we get started with this video, very quickly, I want to shout out to Shop Maestro for hooking me up with these grip socks. Man, they help so much when I'm training. I don't slide around in my boots and I feel very comfortable when I'm playing. So, go check these out. Link down in the description below and let's get straight to this video. What's up YouTube, William Macchio, back with another video. I'm here with a special guest, the one and only Jirabini TV. So, you guys have been asking for this video for a while now, you know, ever since uh, I got to 10,000 subscribers, I've had a lot of recommendations of what you guys want to see, and you know, we're going to be talking about how to choose a college major, especially as an athlete or even a non-athlete. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Both of our channels is going to be down in the description below, and let's run it up. And go cop the merch. Don't forget about that one. Look at this right here. I got my piece right here. It's got a piece right there. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> All right, let's go. Alright, so to start off with the first point of you know how to pick a college major, this is the most important one. You need to know what your interests are. What do you like before you even go to college? So personally, in my situation, um, I hate school. You know, I hate school. Obviously, I don't. I don't like it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. But I knew it was the path that I had to take for me to become a professional soccer player. So I just looked at my interests. You know, I like to talk to people. I like to be around a lot of people. I like to make a lot of jokes. And I kind of went into the field of psychology, communications, and that's something that right now I'm enjoying. And what did you go into? I mm, <laughs> I originally went into for business and then my dad told me he's like you don't like business I did business degree and I'm not liking it so don't do it so I was like you know what I won't be a little so I was like okay I'm just gonna go all in and yeah. I decided to do electrical engineering and here I am I'm left with 10 classes to complete before getting my degree mm -hmm. <laughs> But I'm still gonna have to pass them. And the reason why I chose electrical engineering is because I was like, if I'm gonna go into a university, if I'm still gonna have to get loans, I might as well get something that I can pay it back in one year. And I do like engineering stuff. And for electrical engineering, the average um, salary is 90K a year. So even if I got underneath that, I'm chilling. Yeah, so that's just a very important point. You have to really understand what you like. Don't just take something that your parents want you to take or other people want you to take. Sit down, think about your interests, what you love, what you have passion for, and then go with that when you go into college. And the big thing I tell most of my friends that don't know what degree they should do, I ask them two questions. One, how many kids do you want to have to make sure your degree and career job can pay for it? Two, do you want to take care of your parents when they get old? Yes. Because that's going to take a lot of money. And if you're choking on paying for your own bills, how do you think you're going to be able to pay and take care of your parents when they get old? So those are the two criteria. If you don't want a family, if you don't want to take care of your parents, then by all means, you can probably do whatever you want and you'll be fine living alone, you know, dying alone. If that's what you're all about, you know, it is what it is. All right, so for the second point, you know, as my old coach would say, you want to go bro. So basically, you have to ask yourself if you're an athlete and you're coming to college, you're a freshman, um, do you want to go pro? Is that is that is that a is that a stepping stone that you want to reach? And if that's the case, you have to understand that whatever major you decide to choose, it's going to be depending on your time management. If you want to go into engineering, I got some players on my team that are engineering and they want to strive to go pro and they have like, they don't even sleep. So that's something you have to understand. It's going to be a lot of work. And if you're a person who's really big on having straight A's and you're trying to do a super hard degree, you have to understand you're not going to see those straight A's. Yeah. I can guarantee it. At least, you know, if you don't have a life and you just stay in your room all day, I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. But if you're like me and you have a YouTube channel, you work and, you know, it, it's hard to put extra time because we only have 24 hours in a day. And I'm trying to go pro, so I put a lot of emphasis on getting extra hours training. And by doing that, you lose study time. And that's just what we have to take. Already at student athletes, you're already at a disadvantage mm -hmm. because they don't pay you, but you still have to do the same studying as other people. But then if you add anything on top of it, like getting a job, if you start a YouTube channel, or just any, any hobby you decide to do that can help you survive, it's gonna take away time from studying at school. 
And at the same time, if you look at pros right now, a lot of them are still finish, finishing off their school because the focus they had to put into you know, soccer when they were in college. So that's one thing you also have to have in mind. If you wanna just go into college and get good grades and just finish it off and do it like the regular way, that's perfectly fine. But you really have to ask yourself if being professional is something you wanna do at the same time going to college because it is a lot of work and you're gonna have a lot of obstacles that you're gonna have to face. But if anything, if you're at a youth academy and they send you straight to MLS, then you don't want to even have to go to school at that point. You know, you can just keep grinding it out and climb the ladder. But I would suggest, you know, maybe check out school just in case. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you, maybe you're just good at soccer. You don't even like it like that. But you know, might as well get a degree. So whenever you decide to quit soccer, you have something that you can feed you and your family. So the next factor you wanna look at is how much free time will you have? There's a lot of people who fantasize about going to college, college parties, and all that stuff. People wanna go have fun, drink, whatever. They can do whatever they want, but you have to understand whatever degree you choose, there's a lot of free time that you're gonna be taking away. Let's say I got a, a degree in art. I may have more free time to do all the extra stuff. But if I do a, a degree in advanced mathematics, a lot of times I'm gonna be stay, sitting home finding out my proofs so I can present it in class. And you really don't have time to go out and have fun or even if you wanna go to parties, that would be like the last thing. But yeah, time management is definitely a factor you really have to understand because you know, college is, is, is a roller coaster. Not, not all the courses are the same, teachers are the same, everything is completely different. It just de depends on what field you wanna go into. So, you know, if you're somebody that, you know, is just willing to put in the hard work and grind out the four years before he starts off his life, then, you know, yeah, pick a hard major, do it like that, go hard and, and do all the things that you need to do. It's not fun. But at the same time, if you're somebody that wants to just kind of like kick back a little bit and focus, for example, like me on, on soccer and other things, then maybe you can take a little bit of an easier major and focus on all those things so you can have a better balance. If you get a bachelor's degree, a lot of jobs will hire you and you'll still be fine. Yeah. It's all about having that piece of paper, you know? A lot of people graduate, they don't remember what they learned, but the paper says you can work hard, so. Yeah. <laughs> So the final point, this is the most important point, is how to pick your school. There's thousands of universities out there and you may be wondering, okay, there's so many. So for a non-student athletes, it's slightly different, but student athletes, this is how you should work, look at it. You wanna play at the highest level possible because that's where professional coaches look at you. Now, as you are looking at the highest levels possible, you have to also look at the cost. Yeah. There, you could want to go to the ACC, and may let's say they won't give you a full ride, they'll maybe give you $500 scholarship and you're left to pay $40,000 a year. <laughs> Is that worth your time getting $80,000 worth of debt when you graduate and not have a contract? Because not everybody who finishes university have a contract. Or you can find another university in that same um, conference that's much cheaper. And if even if you wanna bring that cheaper again, because you have four years as a student athlete. And if you know you're good enough, you can spend your first two years at a community college, finish your associate's degree, so whenever you transfer out for the last two years mm -hmm. at a D1 university, you can go off and go ham. And just because you're going to community college doesn't mean you're playing at a bad level. You can still play USL too. You can be on an MLS Next Academy. My friend is still training even though he's over 19. And they allow him because he grew up in the academy. and he's. You know, playing with academy is probably better than playing on a high school team or even a community college club team. And also there's UPSL and NPSL. So there's plenty of ways you can still stay on top of your game and still be successful and get your associate's degree and head over. That's what I did. I went to a, a community college. I paid it all out of pocket. So I had no loans and I went to university and I'm mm -hmm. finishing up my last year. And at the end of everything, I might have a total of $12,000 in debt. And that's better than 90% of everybody at a university in the United States of America. You know, this is a question that I'm gonna end it off here with is, you know, are you chasing money or are you, are you chasing a passion? And this is a very, very big question you have to ask yourself. Because if you're chasing a passion and you just want to do what you love, then, you know, go for it. It might not be the greatest option, but you might be happy in the future. And, you know, you'll, you'll be happy with the decision you make. But if you're just chasing money and you want to just get all the hard work in, then you got to go, you got to, you can take the hardest major, take the hardest courses, you know, play at the high school and spend all that money. If it's something that you guys want to do, then by all means, go for it. If I had $100,000 to go to whatever school I want to in America, I would go to the best school. I would, you know, take the hardest major and I'll grind it all out. But it's just, it's, it all depends on what you have, like what you can afford and what you can offer.
So we hope a, a lot of these tips, you know, you take it into account whenever you start looking for university or maybe you're already at university and you feel like the loans are already starting to choke you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can rewrite yourself so that whenever you finish, you're chilling at a, at a better position. And honestly guys, these are just like our tips and our recommendations of kind of our life and what we've gone through and kind of what we see. So if you have any other questions at all, you know, don't feel like, don't be afraid to DM JD, DM myself, comment down below, because you know, we'd love to help you guys reach out to everything. So any questions you guys have, just make sure you guys reach out to us. Mm -hmm. And even if, you know, if Will's not, can't see it, just leave it in his, like under his post on Instagram and you're chilling. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much. Please make sure you like, subscribe, check out his channel. You better check out his channel. And I'm gonna catch up with you guys next time. Will and is out. Peace. I've been going crazy, that's in a discussion They cannot play me, I'm busy, I've been onto something Yeah, yeah. flying out, hop up in a jet and then I'm flying out Hop up in a lamb and then I ride around She used to see me in a film, remember trying out and Now me and my bros kicking shit like it's FIFA Get what she want cause that y'all was a diva Only one night and then I gotta leave her Onto the money so fat like a cheetah, yeah Coming up, in the minute man but I'll be coming up If she coming for the ride she better buckle up Either first, either last, ain't no runner up Yeah, yeah double up Triple up, why you switched on the kid? Cause I leveled up. I'ma pop another bottle, pour another cup. Kill the past in the grass, snakes slither up. Snakes in the grass, so I'm molded. Under pressure, never folded. Only one life, and I know that I own it. So to my dreams, I sit steady, devoted. Vest in myself, and I flew to the mountains. Way I be dripping this shit like a fountain. Be chasing millions after the thousands. Kids talking down, but they still get allowance. Yeah, chit chat. All up on it in an eddy, like a chit chat. I'm a real busy man, ain't really with that. Feel like hurt, cause I win, I got a beer bag. And I know that, and you know that. They might see me in a foreign, and it's all black.